Oh my goodness. my goodness. The door handle's not there. And now he's got him in total control. Why did he eat parts of his victims? It's a total consumption of the victim. To control, he's controlled the victim every which way. And now it's just a, the ultimate consumption and, and through cannibalization. And, and we've seen this in other killers as well. Shock police found the remains of human bodies littering his home. Ed Gein. Ed Gein from uh, Plainfield, uh, Wisconsin, a town of 300, uh, 300 people, uh, abused, neglected, again, by his, uh, by his mother. And he got into uh, uh, skinning the victims, wearing, uh, wearing uh, clothing made of skin, uh, face masks made of, uh, made of skin. I just can't seem to adjust to your society because uh, no matter what I do, is wrong. Charles Manson. He, he was extremely small. And one of the things he did uh, with us when I did the interview was that he sat up on top of the chair to dominate us during the interview and interrogation. And he did the same thing when he, when he had his, uh, his meetings and his, and his uh, preaching with his followers at the George Spawn uh, Ranch. Bundy is wanted for questioning in at least 36 other cases of rape and murder in four states. Ted Bundy. We learned a lot from Ted Bundy. Uh, he was extremely bright, another 125 plus uh, IQ. Uh, he's very, very mobile, which makes it extremely difficult for, for us. To Douglas, the key to all killers is the mind, because physically, they often don't look the part. John Wayne Gacy was a good case in point. He killed 33 people, but was so convincing as a stable Chicago businessman that he once posed for a picture with then First Lady Rosalind Carter. Uh, Gacy is a, it was a very difficult type of uh, person to, uh, to identify, and again, it's oftentimes we nail them because of uh, their mistakes. Because what he did was, like Jeffrey Dahmer, is that he kept the victims in his home, and he buried them in a crawl space. Police have captured a man whom they believe to be the son of Sam. What did you learn from a guy like David Berkowitz? Uh, I learned that... He was a type of an assassination style of killer. His primary aggression was at, the, uh, at the, uh, the female in the car. The male was at the wrong place at the wrong time. In between the kills, he went back to the grave sites. Not because he showed any remorse, but was to roll symbolically in the dirt how he's, how he's beating the system. As we speak, John, how many serial killers do you figure there are operating up and running free in this country right now? At any given time, my estimate would be between 35 to 50 serial killers, uh, men who kill three or more over a given period of time. That would be a very conservative estimate.